I had a meeting with um, people I work with yesterday. And there are people like, that know me as in, they know I'm single, they know I'm alone, they know I spend holidays alone, they know I go on trips alone. Um, yeah, I've worked with these people for a long time, so they know. And I know basically everything about them. Anyway, they're all in couples, relationships, several relationships. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So we're talking, we're in that meeting and at the end. They started talking about someone who left the company and they said, oh, and she's alone. She, you know, she, and she's alone now, bless her. And hopefully she's going to fix her life again. And let's see if she has the courage to, to fix her life again. And she, I think she divorced or something. And she has her kids. And I, I said, to f f fix what? Because one thing now, when, whenever I hear these things, I will not shut up. Before, I would just be in my corner and just let them talk. Now, I will not shut up. I want to be a mini ambassador of, for lonely people. Lonely, when I say lonely, guys, I don't say it in a bad way. For me, lonely means, actually, for me, lonely, the word lonely is a good word. Anyway. They were just, uh, and as I said, fix what? Why is her life broken? Because she divorced. Obviously, I don't know that woman. And I was just trying to defend. Whenever I hear people, I don't know, gossiping about other people and they're not present, and even when I don't know them, I take their, their side. Because it really annoys me when people start gossiping and speculating about someone's life oh poor her how is she gonna fix her life again and her husband and i don't know some kind of petty gossip and i said what do you feel sorry for her and it was also i mentioned that i've i've worked with these people i work with these people and they know me and they they had the <clears throat> audacity let's just say they had the nerve to say that in front of me so if they say, and, and I was thinking, okay, maybe they think they feel sorry for me too. And they probably, probably do because, you know, we live in this world who promotes families and relationships and, commu and uh, connection. And if you don't have anyone, you're a failure. And I was just trying to, to defend that woman that I don't know. They've known her from years ago, she left the company. And I just felt basically annoyed again. And I hate, I hate that I, I get so annoyed when I hear people having this notion about alone people. She needs to fix her life again and see well, how is she gonna find someone? She needs to go or Tinder and something like, what do you care? She's probably having the best time of her life. <laughs> got rid of, that, that's my speculation for the record. She probably got rid of him, probably an arsehole, got rid of him and she's having a, the time of her life now. That's my story, probably that. But all, all of them decided that she, she needed to fix her life and that she's, she's alone and she's sad and Poor hair. Come on now. Come on. We need to fix that mentality. And also, I just thought about this. It, there were people there <laughs> that are constantly, they're chronically complaining about their lives with their partners. So it was really ironic to hear someone who complains, especially one of the girls I work with, who has been complaining since day one of ever about her partner. And all of a sudden, that woman that got divorced, she's a sad one. And I, 
it's just the, the constant, <laughs> the constant irony and bullshit from people. Even, you know, when I go, now that I recently went back to Greece to visit my family, and my mom always, she only talks about who got married, who got pregnant, and who died. I'm not even joking. This is what, that's all she talks about. And she mentioned one of the neighbors, and I remember her in my childhood, that she, she was alone and everyone was calling her crazy that she, she had mental health issues. And anyway, she mentioned, she mentioned her again because she died, bless her. And I remember all that again from my childhood, like 40 years ago, <laughs> that we had, we were calling that woman that she was by herself. She was a teacher and she was just by herself going to work, coming back, not talking to anyone, basically be nice, like saying hello to us. And we were calling her crazy, guys. And I got it. I have goosebumps just remembering now. Because that, because why? And I just felt so sad that I was, I mean, to, to be honest, I admit it. I was one of these people that thought alone people were weirdos and sad, sad people and poor them. And I was feeling sorry. And I remember that, that woman that we all called her crazy or the crazy, whatever her name was. And now I'm thinking back in the day, it kind of like made sense that she was alone and she, she didn't have anyone. And now I'm thinking, oh, the reason why we call her crazy is because she was on her own. I mean, rest in peace, that, that woman, I completely forgot because I don't, I don't have any uh, contact with my family, to be honest, only when I visit them. But that made me really sad. And wherever she is, I hope, you know, I hope she was not sad and probably she wasn't. Anyway, bless her. I just remembered her and I got emotional. <laughs> um, yeah, people are cruel. Society is cruel. And we are solo. And I mean, I'm, I firmly believe we're the, the, we, we figured it out. We, we found the code to happiness. And <laughs> says happiness with teary eyes. <laughs> Here come the trolls. Yeah, it's just... I don't know. It's a sad... I don't know when it, and if ever this is going to stop. All we can do to change this, basically to stop society thinking that loneliness is, is a disease, <laughs> is just keep talking about it and be visible we need people to to see us that is fine to be alone it's absolutely fine anyway yeah that's all I wanted to talk about today and make sure you have an amazing day <laughs>